everyone, I am Pratibha Garg, Assistant Professor, Army Institute of Education, Greater Noida, affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh Nidhapast University, Delhi. Today, we will be discussing about a topic from Unit 2 of course code B Ed 212 Knowledge and Curriculum Perspectives in Education. If I ask you, what do you know about COVID-19? You will be able to answer it. You will start telling me various things about this pandemic disease. Someone will answer, this is a disease which is spread by a virus. Someone will say, this disease has its origin from China. Someone will answer that COVID-19 spreads by coronavirus. Likewise, I will be getting various responses. This is because you all are aware about this pandemic disease COVID-19. You know various things about it, its symptoms, precautions, etc. And how do you know so much about it? Because you have gathered information from various sources like newspapers, media, etc. which has helped you in gaining knowledge about this particular disease. So, by now, you must have understood that today we are going to study about the meaning, concept and sources of knowledge. This word knowledge comes from Greek word gnosis signifying knowing through observation or experience means dekhne aur anubhav karne se jo kuch hume pata chalta hai veh gyan hai. Knowledge is derived from the verb to know. It includes all which a person knows and believes to be true. जो कुछ एक व्यक्ति जानता है और ये विश्वास करता है कि वह सच है, वही उसका ज्ञान है. Now, if someone answered that COVID-19 spreads through coronavirus, this is his knowledge regarding this particular disease because he believes that it is true. Knowledge is justified true belief. For example, sun rises in the east is the knowledge or true belief which is supported by the fact which is arrived at through daily observation by millions of people. It is a kind of belief that is supported by the facts and truths. ऐसा विश्वास जो कि तथ्यों के द्वारा सही सिद्ध होता है वही ज्ञान है। To have a deeper understanding about the concept of knowledge, let us analyze a few definitions. According to Cambridge Dictionary, the state of knowing about or being familiar with something. For example, if I say I know about Casio means I am familiar with this musical instrument and I also have some knowledge of how to play it. Understanding of or information about a subject that you get by experience or study either known by one person or by people generally. We can understand it like this. I had never played Casio in my life. But when I got an opportunity to listen to someone who was playing Casio, it developed my interest towards it. And I started learning it. And now I can play Casio on few songs. So this knowledge I gained by learning. According to Oxford Dictionary, 
Knowledge means facts, information and skills acquired through experience or education. It is the theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. For example, digital learning. We all were using some or the other online resources in a virtual classroom, whether it is the use of PowerPoint presentation or Google Classroom or the use of social media for educational purposes. But with the lockdown situation, because of COVID-19, everyone is gaining more and more knowledge about online learning through the practical experiences they are facing, whether it's students or teachers. This will be made more clear with this definition of Nancy M. Dixon, who defined knowledge as the meaningful links people make in their minds between information and its application in action in a specific setting. Before the lockdown, we were having information about some modes of online learning. But now, it became necessary to opt these methods, so we all started applying that information in action and gaining knowledge by linking the information to the application part. According to Davenport and Prusaka Way, knowledge is a mixture of organized experiences, values, information and insights offering a framework to evaluate new experiences and information. Hamare vyavasthit anubhav, molle, suchnaye, evam antar drishti. Milkar jab naye anubhav evam suchnao ko mulyankit karte hain, vahi gyan hai. Through these definitions, we can conclude that Knowledge is the familiarity, awareness or understanding of someone or something such as facts, information, description or skills which is acquired through experience or education by perceiving, discovering or learning. Gyan, Tathyo, Suchnao, Vyakhyano एवं कौशलों की समझ या जागरूकता है जो अनुभव या शिक्षा से प्राप्त होते हैं एवं ये अनुभव और शिक्षा देखने समझने से खोज करने से एवं अध्ययन करने से प्राप्त होती है Till now we have discussed in detail what is knowledge. Now we will be discussing about what is the need of knowledge? Like knowledge itself, its need or importance for mankind and its scope is immense. Thus, yet again we must confirm that the need of knowledge can't be described in a few words. We require knowledge for communicating. To communicate our ideas, thoughts, and emotions, knowledge is required. Whenever you are in some discussion or someone is asking you something, you will only be able to communicate when you have knowledge about that particular topic. Otherwise, you will not be able to interact. We require knowledge for solving problems. Knowledge helps us to solve our problems, be these in the field of education or in other areas of human life. For example, if you have to solve a problem of measures of central tendency in statistics, you should have knowledge of formulas of central tendency. Another example is now when we had to face this problem of lockdown and the students and teachers both are not able to go to school. Students were missing out on their syllabus. So, to solve this problem, the governing bodies helped everyone. 
by making the teachers aware to use the knowledge of online learning tools to teach the students next we need knowledge for decision making we need knowledge when we have to make decisions in our life taking quick and right decisions has never been easy but the ones who are more informed have always been on edge over others knowledge plays a significant role in decision making for example to govern a country its leaders have to make important decisions at different levels like our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji took a decision of lockdown to reduce the spread of corona virus he must have the knowledge of the conditions of other countries how this virus has affected those countries and he must be having deep and detailed knowledge of the measures which should be taken to save the country from this pandemic now to know more about the concept of knowledge we should know the valuable insights of some of the eminent philosophers regarding knowledge according to swami vivekanand knowledge is inherent in man gyan vyakti ke andar hi samahit hai no knowledge comes from outside it is all inside koi bhi gyan bahar se nahi aata sab kuch hamare andar hi hai what we say a man knows should in strict psychological language be what he discovers or unveils jo hum kehte hain ki main ye janta hu manovigyanik bhasha mein ye vah hai jo usne khoj liya hai what a man learns is really what he discovers by taking the cover of his own soul which is a mine of infinite knowledge hamara sara gyan anubhavon par aadharit hota hai all our knowledge is based upon experience knowledge can never be created it can only be discovered gyan ko nirmit nahi kiya ja sakta sirf khoja ja sakta hai mind is the source of knowledge mastishk hi gyan ka srot hai the goal of mankind is knowledge मानवता का लक्ष्य ज्ञान है यू ऑल हैव स्टडीड अबाउट जॉन डिवी द वेस्टर्न फिलोसोफर यू ऑल हैव स्टडीड हिम ड्यूरिंग द प्रीवियस सेमेस्टर ही कंसिडर्स स्कूल एज अ मिनिएचर सोसाइटी ही एम्फोसाइज ऑन एक्सपीरियंस बेस्ड लर्निंग वट एवर एक्सपीरियंस द चाइल्ड हैज इन द स्कूल must be as real to him as that of home or neighborhood since the school is a reflection of the society the experience provided here must be purified simplified and better be balanced these experiences and activities are the basis of attainment of knowledge and discovery of truth each of us possesses a great deal of knowledge we know about ourselves we know about the world around us we know about abstract concepts and ideas philosophers have often wondered from where the knowledge comes we learn a lot of things from books from the media and from other people to process information from these sources however we must already know many things how to read how to reason who to trust to learn these things requires yet more knowledge so here the question arises what is the most fundamental way of acquiring knowledge here i will be mentioning some major sources of knowledge first is perception that which can be perceived through the experiences of the senses We all know that the burning candle is hot because when we touch it it feels hot. Next is reason. 
When we discover necessary truths such as mathematical or scientific truths through pure reason, reason can be considered a source of knowledge. Introspection Knowledge of one's self that can be found through internal self-evaluation. For example, sometimes when you introspect yourself, you find that you are a good painter also. जब आप स्वयं का मूल्यांकन करते हैं तो आपको अपने अंदर छिपी हुई प्रतिभाओं का ज्ञान होता है नेक्स्ट इज मेमोरी मेमोरी इज द स्टोरेज ऑफ नॉलेज दैट वॉज लर्न इन द पास्ट वेदर इट बी द पास्ट इवेंट्स और करेंट इंफॉर्मेशन अगर जो कुछ आपने पढ़ा था या अनुभव किया था वह आपको याद नहीं है तो आप उसके बारे में कुछ नहीं बता पाएंगे For example, you have studied some concept long back and it was asked in the job interview, but you are not able to recall it. Then you will not be able to answer that question. Next source of knowledge is instinct. Manushyo evam anny jeevo me pai jane wali ek swabhavik pravritti jiska vay anukaran karte hain बिना उसका कारण जाने फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब आप एक रोड क्रॉस करते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपकी स्पीड थोड़ी बढ़ जाती है क्योंकि उस वक्त ये हमारी स्वाभाविक प्रवृत्ति होती है कि कहीं कोई गाड़ी ना आ जाए नेक्स्ट सोर्स ऑफ नॉलेज इज इंट्यूशन द फीलिंग और अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट मेक्स यू बिलीव और नो दैट समथिंग इज ट्रू Without being able to explain why. Next is self-realization. Self-realization means atma gyan, yani atma ka gyan, ya swam ka gyan. Here the term realization is used instead of knowledge, because gyan refers to knowledge of self based on experience. Not mere intellectual knowledge. Atma gyan literally means knowledge of the soul. Atma gyan is above intuition. It is the highest form of knowledge. It is the only reality. Broadly, we can divide the sources of knowledge in two categories: empirical knowledge and revealed knowledge. empirical knowledge is practical knowledge while revealed knowledge is theoretical knowledge now what is empirical knowledge it is knowledge derived from investigation observation experimentation or experience as opposed to theoretical knowledge based on logical or mathematical assumptions it is also called knowledge of external world it enters our brain or mind from outside it is not innate unborn or prenatal it does not pre exist in our mind experience are the fountain head of empirical knowledge Empirical knowledge includes knowledge through sense experiences. We can know many things about the external world and their characteristics through our senses by seeing, smelling, touching, tasting and hearing. By tasting only we get to know that lemon is sour. The knowledge drawn through senses is immediate first hand and concrete in nature more the senses are involved the more comprehensive would be the knowledge next is knowledge through reasoning true knowledge can be acquired through the method of reasoning reasoning is the ability to engage in thinking if we could not think we could not acquire knowledge we all have studied in our school days 
that there are nine planets in our solar system. But now it has been proved that there are only eight planets in our solar system. There are reasons behind this. Now we will go through the methods of acquiring knowledge through sense experiences. First is observation method. We observe many things in our surroundings as well as our own self. We gain experiences through observations and then try to correlate these experiences with our life, society and nation. Next is learning by doing. By doing something, we get knowledge related to that work. जब हम कुछ काम करते हैं तब हम अपनी ज्ञानेंद्रियों का प्रयोग करते हैं और हम ज्ञान प्राप्त करते हैं यही ज्ञान परमानेंट हो जाता है लर्निंग बाई डूइंग इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इफेक्टिव मेथड ऑफ एक्वायरिंग नॉलेज देयर फॉर वी एम्फेसाइज ऑन लर्निंग बाई डूइंग इन अवर स्कूल्स लर्निंग बाय एक्सपीरियंस एन इंडिविजुअल can't do work completely only by observing it he or she also acquires knowledge by self experiences for example you observe your father or mother driving a car but you will learn it only when you will drive it yourself now what are the methods to acquire knowledge through reasoning first is inductive reasoning in this individual proceeds from specific to general previous knowledge to new knowledge examples to rules and concrete to abstract it involves the use of various type of examples direct experience and experiments to arrive at the solution of a problem next is deductive reasoning it is just opposite of inductive reasoning in deductive reasoning individuals proceed from general to specific abstract to concrete and formula to examples now the second category of the source of knowledge is revealed knowledge it is difficult to prove or disprove this knowledge empirically as it is accepted on faith it holds good at all times and at all places it is knowledge which is present in scriptures like shri guru granth sahib ved upanishad gita bible quran etc it is not modifiable or subject to change it is classical and universal it is not limited to time and space revealed knowledge includes knowledge through authority here the word authority does not imply any power but it implies a reliable book in the field of religion the scriptures as well as the discourses of the gurus and the mahatmas are regarded as authority through this type of knowledge we are able to obtain from others a good deal of knowledge next is knowledge through tradition we accept many traditions of a culture or our forefathers and we acquire knowledge from them and man depends for solutions to many of his problems on this source of knowledge the main difference between empirical and revealed knowledge is that empirical knowledge is based on experiences which is mainly enhancing the cognitive domain scientific knowledge is the best example of empirical knowledge and revealed knowledge is based on knowledge we acquire through traditions or authority it extends our effective domain 
religious knowledge is the best example of revealed knowledge so today in this video we have discussed about what is knowledge what is the need of knowledge and the sources of knowledge hope it helped you in understanding this topic better thank you